Hello friends, welcome back to Civil Engineering Mastery. In a framed structure, the structural elements are slab, beam, column and footing. We use reinforced steel and concrete to fill these structural elements. In a concrete, we have cement, sand and aggregate. Concrete is a mixture of cement, sand and aggregate. So in this video, let's see how do we calculate cement, sand and aggregate quantity for M20 grade of concrete. By the end of this video, I am sure you will be able to calculate the cement, sand and aggregate quantity for M20 grade of concrete for all the structural members, slab, beam, column and footing. So without delay, let's begin. First, let's see mix ratio for M20 grade of concrete. Mix ratio is 1 is to 1.5 is to 3. It is a nominal mix. It is not a design mix. The characteristic compressive strength of M20 grade concrete is 20 Newton per millimeter square. So the total ratio is 1 plus 1.5 plus 3 which is 5.5. Here 1 part of cement, 1.5 part of sand and 3 part of aggregate. So this is the ratio of cement, sand and aggregate for M20 grade of concrete. We know the mix ratio. Now let's start the calculation for slab. So here I am having the slab size of 3.65 by 3 meter and the depth of the slab is 0.15 meter which is 6 inches. So for this size of the slab, let's calculate how much cement quantity we need, how much sand quantity and how much aggregate quantity we need. So first we need to calculate the volume. Volume of concrete is equal to volume of the slab. So volume of slab we need to calculate here that is length and breadth multiplied by the depth. So we get overall volume of 1.643 meter cube. So for this meter cube of volume how much quantity of materials required so that we are going to calculate. So whatever the volume we have calculated is the wet volume that means the concrete quantity right. So that is a wet volume. But whenever we go to buy the material, that time we buy the material as a dry material, not the wet material. So we need to calculate the dry material. So we need to convert this wet volume to dry volume. Dry volume is equal to wet volume multiplied by 1.54. So this is the, I'll tell you why do we need to consider this 1.54 as a dry volume factor. For example, you can just do a simple experiment. Take a little bit of cement and mix it with water the dry volume get reduced when it become a wet volume. Let me tell you why. So here also you can see all together the material cement, sand and aggregate together. We are, when we mix it with water, the dry volume get reduced due to the pr presence of voids in the dry material. So the dry volume get reduced due to the voids present in the dry material when it is mixed with water. Sand is having 20% of voids and aggregate is having 32 to 34% of voids. Cement is a fine particle material so that can be negligible. I repeat again, when we mix water with the dry material, it loses its friction due to the air voids present in the dry material and the volume of dry material get reduced. So sand plus aggregate together we get 54% of voids. As I told you before, sand is having 20% of voids and aggregate is having 32 to 34% of voids. Here I have considered 34% and cement is having very fine particles. So there will not be any voids in that that can be negligible. So together we can take 54% of voids. Next let's consider 1 meter cube of wet volume. So for this we need to find out the dry volume. So dry volume is equal to 1 meter cube of wet volume plus 54% of voids. So this we need to consider. So dry volume factor we get as 1.54 for 1 meter cube of wet volume. This is the reason why we need to consider 1.54 as a dry volume factor. If it is n meter cube of wet volume that n has to be multiplied with this dry volume factor 1.54. We know the wet volume for this size of slab is 1.643 meter cube. We need to convert wet volume to dry volume now. So dry volume is equal to wet volume multiplied by 1.54 which is the dry volume factor. So we get 2.53 meter cube. Now we are going to calculate the quantity of cement. Volume of cement is equal to ratio of cement divided by total ratio multiplied by dry volume. We know the ratio of cement is 1. 1 is the ratio of cement. Total ratio is 5.5, 1 plus 1.5 plus 3 and then dry volume factor we know which is 2.53 which is equal to 0.46 meter cube. So this is in meter cube, volume of cement is in meter cube. This we need to convert into CFT. 1 meter cube is equal to 35.28 CFT. So this is the, this is the conversion factor from 
cubic meter to cubic feet. So volume of cement is equal to this much meter cube multiplied by 35.28. We get 16.23 cubic feet. We need to calculate the cement material in bags, in terms of bags, because we are going to buy the material in terms of bags. So that's why we need to calculate the cement material in bags. Number of cement bags is equal to volume of cement divided by volume of one bag of cement. We know the volume of cement. Volume of one bag of cement is equal to 1.25 cubic feet. So number of cement bags is equal to, we know volume of cement is 16.23 divided by 1.25 we get 12.98 we can consider as 13 bags next we need to calculate the quantity of sand volume of sand is equal to ratio of sand divided by total ratio multiplied by dry volume we know the ratio of sand is 1.5 total ratio is 5.5 and the dry volume is 2.53 so we get 0.69 meter cube. So this also we need to convert into cubic feet. Conversion factor we know. Volume of sand is equal to 24.34 CFT. So this we, we have to convert into unit because always we buy sand in terms of unit. 1 unit, 2 unit, half unit, something like that. So the conversion factor is 1 unit is equal to 100 cubic feet. So volume of sand is equal to 24.34 divided by 100 we get 0.24 unit. Next let's calculate quantity of aggregate. Volume of aggregate is equal to ratio of aggregate divided by total ratio multiplied by dry volume. So we know the ratio of aggregate is 3 divided by total ratio is 5.5 multiplied by dry volume which is equal to 1.38 cubic meter. We need to convert this one to CFT and after that we need to convert the CFT into unit because even aggregate also will buy it as a unit. So volume of aggregate is 0.487 unit. We have completed the slab materials. Next, let's calculate for beam. Beam is a horizontal structural member. So, this is the length of the beam, 5 meter. Width of the beam is 0.3 meter. Depth of the beam is 0.6 meter. So, this is the size. For this size of beam, how much materials are required? That let's calculate now. Wet volume. First, we need to calculate the volume of the beam. Volume of the beam is volume of concrete. So 5 meter is the length, 0.6 meter is the depth and 0.3 meter is the width. So total we get 0.9 meter cube as a wet volume. This we need to convert into dry volume. Dry volume is equal to wet volume multiplied by 1.54. This is the dry volume factor. So we get 1.386 meter cube as a dry volume. First let's calculate the quantity of cement. Volume of cement is equal to ratio of cement by total ratio multiplied by dry volume. Volume of cement is equal to 1 divided by 5.5 multiplied by 1.386 which is equal to 0 0.252 cubic meter. This we need to convert into cubic feet 35.28 is the conversion factor. Volume of cement is 8.89 CFT. We need to calculate the number of cement bags which is equal to volume of cement by volume of one bag of cement. Volume of one bag of cement is 1.25 CFT. So we know the number of cement bags is equal to 8.89 divided by 1.25 which is 7.11. We can consider that one as a 8 bags. Next let's calculate the quantity of sand. Volume of sand is equal to ratio of sand divided by total ratio multiplied by dry volume. So we know the ratio of sand is 1.5 divided by total ratio is 5.5 which is multiplied with dry volume we get 0.378 meter cube. This we need to convert into CFT. So that is 13.3 for CFT and this we need to convert into unit. So volume of sand is equal to 0.13 unit. Next quantity of aggregate. Volume of aggregate is equal to ratio of aggregate divided by total ratio multiplied by dry volume. Volume of aggregate is equal to 3 is the ratio of aggregate divided by 5.5 is the total ratio multiplied by dry volume. We get 0.756 meter cube. So let's convert into CFT that is 26.67 CFT. Again we need to convert into unit that is 0.267 unit. Next let's calculate for column. Depth of the column is 0.6 meter. Width of the column is 0.3 meter. Height of the column is 3 meter. So this is the size. We need to calculate the volume. Volume of concrete is the wet volume. So 3 multiplied by 0.6 multiplied by 0.3 which is 0.54 meter cube. Wet volume we need to convert into dry volume. So for that we need to multiply that wet volume into 1.54 dry volume factor. 
so we get the dry volume as 0.832 meter cube first let's calculate the cement volume of cement is equal to ratio of cement by total ratio multiplied by dry volume so if we apply this we get 0.151 meter cube this we need to convert into cft so we get 5.34 cft we need to calculate the cement as number of bags so number of cement bags is equal to volume of cement divided by volume of one bag of cement so number of cement bags is equal to five bags next let's calculate the quantity of sand volume of sand is equal to ratio of sand divided by total ratio multiplied by dry volume so we get 0.226 meter cube this we need to convert into cft volume of sand is 8 cft let's convert that one into units so we get 0 0.08 unit quantity of aggregate volume of aggregate is equal to ratio of aggregate divided by total ratio multiplied by dry volume ratio of aggregate is 3 divided by total ratio is 5.5 and dry volume is 0.832 so we get 0.454 meter cube this we need to convert into cft so we get 16.01 cft as a volume of aggregate let's convert that one into unit volume of aggregate is equal to 0.16 unit finally let's calculate for footing this is the plan of the footing and this is the section of the footing length of the footing is 1.5 meter width of the footing is also 1.5 meter and depth is 0.3 meter we know the size of the footing from this we need to calculate the wet volume that is 0.675 meter cube so this we need to convert into dry volume so dry volume is 1.04 meter cube quantity of cement volume of cement is equal to ratio of cement by total ratio multiplied by dry volume so we get 0.189 meter cube as a volume of cement we need to convert that into CFT. So we get 6.67 CFT. We need to calculate as a bags. So number of cement bags is equal to volume of cement by volume of one bag of cement. So we get six bags. Next, let's calculate the quantity of sand, which is equal to ratio of sand divided by total ratio multiplied by dry volume. So we get 0.284 meter cube as a volume of sand. This we need to convert into CFT. We get 10 CFT and we need to convert that one into unit that is 0.1 unit. Next, let's calculate the quantity of aggregate. Volume of aggregate is equal to ratio of aggregate divided by total ratio multiplied by dry volume. So, we get 0.567 meter cube and this we need to convert into CFT. We get 20.01 CFT and finally, we need to convert into unit that is 0.2 unit of aggregate we require for footing. Now, let's look into the overall quantity of material. First, I am considering the volume. So, for that particular volume how much cement bags are required how much sand and how much aggregates are required let's first see for slab so the volume is 1.643 so this volume is the wet volume so for this wet volume 13 bags of cements are required 0.24 unit of sands are required and 0.48 unit of aggregate is required next let's see for beam 0.9 this is also wet volume 8 bags of cements are required 0.13 unit of sand is required 0.27 unit aggregate is required next for column the quantity is 0.54 the volume is 0.54 so for that 5 bags of cements are required 0 0.08 unit of sand is required 0 0.16 unit of aggregate is required next for footing which is 0.675 meter cube 6 bags of cement 0.1 unit of sand and 0.2 unit of aggregate so friends i hope you all like this video please do comment in the comment box if you have any queries your comments are always welcome and if you want more videos like this please do comment in the comment box i'll try to upload the same and don't forget to subscribe this channel for more videos thank you for watching